Since last episode, the fan has come in. This is a 16 inch 2400 CFM JEGS fan, runs around 60 bucks. Pretty simple to install, comes with all the installation hardware. Let's go ahead and get this thing popped in. And we're back. Pretty simple to put in, there's just the four little plastic bolts basically that slide through the radiator. You slide the caps on the end, fits real nice. Loving it. Brian had a great idea to put these 45s on the end and point them towards the center of the car so if you lose a piston or something, you're not shooting all the oil underneath your tires that's going out the back of the car. Awesome job, Brian. In the last video, you noticed that the exhaust had a little tick to it, so we got some new header gaskets. Passenger side header gasket doesn't look too bad. The bolts are pretty easily accessible, so let's get to work. Think skinny finger. Oh, we got it. Gasket came out pretty easy. It looks real nice. Wasn't stuck on there very bad. But we noticed the end is kind of blown out there. Other than that, there really wasn't any other cracks to be concerned with. Bolts came out really easy. Everything pulled away nice and easy. Just going to clean up the surfaces here, get the new gasket put in place, and go ahead and button it up. Let's take a look and see if we can see one of these valves. Valves look nice and clean there on the top. On to the driver's side. This one's going to be a bit more difficult. The rear bolt, you check this thing out back here. What a pain in the butt to reach. I'm going to have to get some 90s or something. Get my hand way up in the bottom jowls of it. Check out the steering rod. Right in the way. Thanks, buddy. Do you see something missing? I sure do. Looks like we blew the back half of this thing out. All right, let's get the new one in. The new seat mounts are all welded up. Once again, Brian did a great job on these things. I'm going to go ahead and grab the paint and get this thing cleaned up. Picasso would be proud. Check it out. And yes, we did cover the holes with little discs that we made that we welded in there. So if you see a couple little spots, that's what those are. Got the tabs welded on for the new seat that's going in there. Things are coming around. Can't wait to put that thing in. Eric, why are you putting a new seat? The other one looked just fine. Check this thing out. I think they had a few too many hard launches on there. Look at it. Cracked all the way through there. Bolts hardly hanging in there. Same with the rear. It just was, there's no way this thing was safe. There's no way I was going to uh, risk my life with this one when that car can run 10 seconds. Not smart. Air on the side of caution and uh, put a new one in there. Check out this side. This thing is so floppy. What a piece of junk. Bye, little turd. Time to go home, baby girl. Time to go home. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, you're so pretty.
Welcome back from surgery, little girl. Glad we got you all fixed up. Oh man, so happy to have this thing back in my garage. Check this stuff out. Hmm, let's see. Maybe we're gonna be installing a little shifter action. What, what, what? Oh yeah. And let's see. Maybe a little bit of a switch panel. So yes, coming up next is wiring. Oh gosh, the new shifter. Carpet, eh, eh, list goes on and on. I got wheel studs. So, a lot more to do. Thank you guys, appreciate you watching all these videos. If you like it, smack the little thing, hit the little thing, and do the thing. See you on the next one, yay! That's all, folks.